Hello everybody, thank you for joining me, this is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 46 of Let's Play Aleph, the hardcore D&D style CRPG, open world CRPG made miraculously in RPG Maker. We're about 26 hours in, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, last episode we got, uh, we finished this quest for Silly Hollow and I believe we're back in fair. Um, yep. Today, uh, we're gonna pick maybe some different things to go after. Um, really wish I could, uh, I don't think there's any way to fix this bug. I could try it one more time to try to get the A-Lift to update, but sadly... It seems to not be the case. So we can't go after these two items, unfortunately. The Augurer and the Robe of the Magi. Um, so we're just going to have to figure something else out. But let's look at what we've got here. Uh, we can go after the Phoenix, which I believe is marked on K4. And we're on M3. K4 is only two to the west and one to, and one to the south. So, yeah, let's go after um, <clears throat> the item in this direction. I think we're done here. Uh, we have enough food. We have enough supplies. Everything is smooth sailing. Um, I think there's a desert this way, right? There was some sort of desert land. That was pretty interesting. Let's check it out. I'll go ahead and light a smoke here. Yeah, we're in some desert land. L3. Um, not sure where this is exactly. Or what to expect to find here. Um, let's see, we have to go to four. Okay, let's see what kind of ore is here iron. We have to go to four, so we have to go south, <coughs> ultimately. Um, and west, so southwest. And now we'll just explore as we go. It looks like fire elemental, maybe? Um, so yeah. Hope you guys are doing well. IRL in real life um, and still enjoying the LP I'm having a blast can't wait every day to play some more so I hope you guys are enjoying um, not really sure what to do next except go hunting for, again for legendary items I find that to be a good thing to kind of get out and explore get into some combat you know when you're hunting down these legendaries um, very fun. What is that? Was that a spider? A scorpion. We have not fought those yet. So on L3... Like, there's so many maps to explore, and I'm probably not going to be able to explore them all. Or in terms of... Whoa! Sandworm. Forgot about them. That's a pretty big, wicked worm. Thought it was a giant crawler at first. Um, let's just continue exploring. I don't really feel like getting into combat just yet. Scorpions. As long as I keep my distance, should be fine. Here we're at the edge of the map, so we'll go s west to K3, which is a bit a bit dustier here. King Scorpion, okay. Let's have at it then. Check out a King Scorpion, level 40. Um, oh my gosh, very respectable stats. Quite the intelligence I didn't expect from a Scorpion, but... Very nice stats. Um, I think fire is a good idea. Kill it with fire. Shout. 
and then attack a lot there. Um, you can also throw a fireball at it and Eris can attack. Mm. Yeah, it's got the right defense and resistance to really do some damage, especially in groups, because look at its HP. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a quite formidable foe here, especially how hard it hits. Um, go ahead and curse it. Go ahead and attack. Hold on there. Go ahead and fireball it and Eris. Um, I think it has magic. Can lock it out from its magic. If it has any. Oh, failed. There we go. Losing MP per turn. Try to stun it. Nice. Um... Try casting Abyss on it. You attack. You fireball it. You attack. Yeah, it's got quite the defense and resistance to go the distance, rhyming accidentally, but that's a weak point. Now we kind of cracked it open, though half dead at least oh wait can I hit a knife no no do um uh, another fireball a double strike another fireball and attack use absolve to get rid of blind Now we should just be able to attack, attack, attack. Yeah, not the greatest foe to fight in a battle here, because quite deadly. Still haven't got it. There we go. 71 XP, 288 gold. King plate found. Oh, they have king plate. That's a level, a high level armor. a high level material I should say to make armor out of they have some resistance in defense though at level 40 um, I want to go and explore more but at the same time I would like to get to where this legendary item is um, K4, oh we're on K3 so we're literally one screen away I just don't want to get hit a scorpion fight and there's like two or three of them that would be pretty rough night has fallen in the desert so there's king scorpions and there's smaller scorpions if you notice that aren't king size I think um Or something. Bones. Fire elemental, sure. Level 35, uh, not the greatest stats. I'm sure bubble will work well. Blinded it. Fireball. Oh yeah. Wow. 44 XP, 94 gold, fire essence, wood ash. A lot there's level 38, so nice to get a fire essence. There's a big worm, I don't know how um how well we can handle that. There seem to be bones in the area. Leading potentially to something. Wow, look at all these bones. Oh I see. And what would this be? K3, let's check our Aleph. Um, 
Oh, it's not listed. Sincerity is K2. Huh. K3 is not really listed, so let's go ahead and check it out. I'm going to go ahead and eat some chicken. And... Add a few meads. And save. And head on in and see what this place is. This is Alferocia. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to head into Ferocia anytime soon, but it's good to know that it's there. We are, however, going to head down to K3 and uh, Iron Ore. And grab this um Phoenix item. Still kind of bummed that I couldn't find the robe of the Magi or the Augurer, but we could still maybe find them sometime, just by luck. All right, so we have to go southeast here on K4 to get Phoenix. <coughs> Which is probably some fire-related monstrous weapon or such some such all right 90 now we just need to go south the desert is pretty bleak not a lot no ferns or anything to take it seems um what is that thing is that a smaller scorpion A venom beast and a brown wyvern. A venom beast. Just a regular beast. Um, level 42 venom beast. Pretty respectable stats. The brown wyvern is only level 25. <coughs> Let's go ahead and hit it with uh, meteors. Attack, attack, attack. Hmm. Okay, um, sap you for the stun, finish off you, and attack, 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 attack. Not too bad. 83 XP, 198 gold, no items in here. There's a hat. Is that Phoenix? Alright, let's pick up the water. All this water at this oasis. Hmm, there's even stuff over here. What is that? Fishing spot. Empty bottle. <coughs> Empty bottle. Music gear. Fish. Empty bottle. Fishing pole. Fish, fish. One fire elemental. Attack, attack. Bubble, attack. <coughs> Boom, casual 2500. Oh, it has meteors. Mm -hmm. And immolates us. Cool. 44 XP, 94 gold, wood ash, and fire essence. I'm now level 41. And, um, dawn begins to break. Bedroll, campfire, bones, cloth wizard's hat. Oh, that's not the hat we're looking for. <coughs> I mean, the, uh, phoenix. So where's the phoenix exactly? Did I pick it up and not know it? <coughs> No. Huh.
Did I pick up Phoenix? Did not appear to. For some reason, it's not marked on my ALIF anymore. 90. Oh, 106. Hmm. Oh, there it is. I see it. The emblem of the phoenix is sewn into this magic robe. I'm using dragon scale tunic. Eris is using the enchanted cloth robe. Phoenix. Restores HP to the wearer each turn in combat and resists fire. Hmm. Gives her 18 luck, 14 resistance, 5 intelligence. Loses 6 MP and 4 agility. Um, restores HP to the wearer each turn. What are you wearing, Haloth, here? Prayer. Also gradually heals and restores MP. And you have something. You have Platinum Chainmail. Um... <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and give it to Eris. I think she can make the most out of it. There we are. So let's mark off Phoenix on our little list that we've made. Um, so let's see. We're like in K4. Assyria is E5. Um... B6. Oh, let's go to E2, Junky Rods. Um, either Junky Rods or Assyria for right now. Let's go ahead and tag Assyria. E5, okay. See, that doesn't look like a King Scorpion to me. That's a Medium Scorpion, Small Scorpion. Or I don't know which way to go around this mountain here. But five would be down this way. <clears throat> so we'll head on down. Wait a minute, let's check the cartography of the land here. Oh, that's a serious uh, mountain. We're contained in here pretty much. There's a pass to the south. We'd have to go south and around to get to Assyria, it seems. We can do that. But in the meantime, there's a few buildings that looks like on the map here. Let's see if we can explore those. There's the path. there were some sort of buildings around here. Um. Hmm. I thought there were. Alright, let's keep checking cartography till we figure this out. Um, all right, that's a rock formation, but to the right... Is that another rock formation over there? I don't know. It looks a little square for a rock formation. Oh. Oh, dear. That had a whole team with it, too, that worm. Um... I guess we're going to have to go over more. Over one. And it's on L4, maybe. Hmm. 
Where are we? Okay, it's like a little around here somewhere. Aha! And this is herein lies Dame Sky Salah Salah. The shooting star, one of the seven. Her wisdom touched all those around her. So it is a tomb, and we can't really loot the tomb. But there is a chest. And there's music here. Can I... Tithe? To tithe the cairn of Dame Sky Salah. The shooting star is to embrace and honor her wisdom. 500. You pay homage to the Cairn of Dame Sky Salon. Ah, oh, it's red. Shoot. So, they definitely house items of great power. But at what cost? Probably some curse, but beyond that, I just don't want to be damaging my principles by looting this stuff. Maybe we can do an evil playthrough one time and that would be fun. Just looting everything. Alright, we're gonna head to that mountain pass now. And, um... Make our way over to E5 and then E2. To get, um... The junky rods. And there's a king scorpion. Okay. Go ahead and save. I need some mana. <laughs> some MP. I have 76 mana potions left. Or we have them. Alright, K5. Is this back down where the harpies are? Hope you guys are enjoying. I'm just enjoying a little leisurely exploration. Oop. Gazer and some Groot peons. Um, attack, 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 attack. Gazers don't seem to grow super huge, only level 35, so. Something we can definitely handle, but, um... <laughs> Should I maybe take it a little more seriously? Stun it. Um... Oh. 2600 damage or so. Everybody on the team can do good melee work. Boom. 61 XP, 166 gold, Gazer's Eye, Minor Mana. Thought I maybe saw something up here, but... Hmm. Like, I could explore this stuff like this all day. And I'm trying to play how I would play even off-camera. And not let that influence me too much, like... To where I would... Not play how I normally would. But yeah, these are so inviting to explore, these maps. It's just like, could explore them all day. Alright, K5. We're almost where we need to be. Um, plus, we can relocate our boat over here if we reach the shore. That should be fun. Okay. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh wait, J5 is Frontier, isn't it? No? I just have to wonder what I'm leaving behind and missing in each of these maps. Love this nice flute tune. Or make our way towards E5, I mean. <coughs> um. And I guess we'll make our way towards Incians, and Incians will be our second dungeon. I think we'll try that. Maybe next episode, get to Incians. We're on I-5. Oh, I'm stuck in a tree. That's not good. Let's move up a little. Alright. Hmm. A little lag on this map, so I'll run. Oh, we've hit water. The lag is gone. No, it hasn't. <laughs> hmm. So, okay, there's a bridge. Brookhaven. Oh no, I'm in a tree. Heck is Brookhaven, another town, I guess. Cool. Let's check it out, guys. Beautiful music. <coughs> Whoops. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got away from it. Both of them. Not that we can't handle them. Oh my gosh, trolls everywhere. Pure Blossom. Haven, I guess, was across the bridge. Yeah. Can't seem to cross up here. So let's come down. Hopefully get some new leads on some more legendary items. Just listening to the music. Probably take out a troll pretty easily, and now we're—I mean, we took out troll warlords. Looks like we're fighting a tree ant. Go ahead and light up a smoke. Curse. <clears throat> wow. <laughs>
two times troll. Sounds fun, but... Whoops. Um, triads get to level... Th okay, 35, so they do go up a little bit. Um, can definitely throw out meteors. Attack the Dryad. Evaded by the Dryad. She's got pretty good evasion. Um, Snap the dryad, stunned, um, hit a knife, you, and mm, meteors again. I got it like that. Bong, bong, bong. Death to oh that one evaded. 129 XP, 298 gold, ginseng, leaf of heather, blossom, ginseng, death cap, ginseng, death cap, ginseng, death cap. <laughs> Alright, let's cross the bridge. Which should take us into Brookhaven. Whatever this is. Oh wow, more trolls. That's weird. I didn't expect to see a troll over here. This is indeed a town. I wonder what it's going to start showing as one. We're halfway through the map horizontally. There's a gazer up there. Is this a town, or is this just a named map of some sort? I guess we can go vertically up a lot more. Um, ah, okay. Roads. Maybe it's not a town. What the heck would it be? Oh, okay. Hmm. There's some semblance of a town. Provisioner. Coriand Thiel, the grocer. Poor Solon. He works harder than anyone else in this town. And the lights hit his... One second. Let me un let me get rid of this Aleph. Poor Solon. He works harder than anyone else in this town, but the blights at his family's crops. I've offered sending them some of my own crops to crops to tide him over until next season, but the fool won't accept a single carrot. See if maybe I can do something. This will keep your belly full. Yeah, same stuff. Always the same stuff. Oh, there's Solon Tubersh, the provisioner. Short, spherical man with a mottled complexion and a lumpy face. Three wiry hairs stick out from his otherwise bald head. Stranger, do you know the worst thing about living on a potato farm? I shall tell you the worst thing about living on a potato farm. The worst thing about living on a potato farm is that everything smells like potatoes. Not that I live on a potato farm. Just saying. Can't give him alms, though. Won't find any potatoes here. Hmm. Alright, so there's not much we can do here. 
There's somebody we can give alms to. Harrison, a tall, slender man with gaunt features. No, we can't give him alms either. I once traveled the wintry northern coast to the east and heard a most strange sound. It sounded like the wailing of a woman. Some days later, when I passed through the town of Fair, I was told of the weeper, which might have been making the sound. Huh, the weeper. Maybe I can't give alms now, I've noticed, because maybe I've mastered, um... Temperance or what have you? Brookhaven Guard? Greetings, good seer. No, we can give him alms. Are you trying to bribe me, seer? Keep your gold. No, it was honest, uh... Just for your hard work. Potion and magic shop, always nifty. What is that? Podium, that's different. An ornate podium made of butternut wood. The stand is shaped like a pillar in a temple. Incunescent crystal. Inu the scribe. The last resort is an enchanted weapon wielded by a mercenary captain who passed through here not long ago. He was heading northeast last I knew. Nice, last resort. Shop. Fancy a spell, seer. Okay. Let's see, we've got all the usuals. And then... That's it. Hmm. Okay, I don't think I want anything. Or need anything, I should say. Um, there's a bookshelf we can look. The Age of the Plagued Dead. I think I have that. Jaylene Fent, the alchemist. She's a tall woman who has tied her hair back in an elaborate braid. She has a large mole just above her left eye. Don't tell any of the neighbors, but I've actually had to import some of my stock from Glianessa. Embarrassing, I know, but if nothing's growing out of the ground, what is a woman to do? Whoops. Um, shop. Imported from the mainland. I hope these satisfy your needs. Yep, same stuff. So. But we did get the last resort item. Nice to see that they that those two weren't bugged. Not saying that sarcastically, just honestly. Town blacksmith. An anvil. Ingots. Um, let me go ahead and save just in case we get stuck inside. Let's see what the blacksmith has. Kia Clara the armor. Appears to have a keen eye read that before. Sometimes the best defense is not getting into fights at all. True. And Pomeroy the blacksmith. I created an axe called Cutter. Sold it to some lady from Arma. I suspect it's only a matter of time before it's, it is parted from her. She did not strike me as the fighting type. And you still sold it to her? If you need to kill something, look no further. Yeah, there's no other pages we can check. Every, all the sellers just have the same stuff. Which makes sense, like, to some extent. I'm just surprised I haven't seen, like, a seller just with a few items of more value. Here's the pub. Glinda's the tavern maid. She's a blonde woman with an apple-shaped face and twinkling eyes. She has stitched, stitched tiny fruits and vegetables onto the sleeves of her dress. Well, well, well. Hello, fair stranger. Not many people pass through here, being on the edge of everything and all. But still, if you need supplies, you can do a lot worse than Brookhaven. And then we have... Malice Widdens, the barkeep. He's a short, stooped man with a kind face. Everything about him is perfectly symmetrical. From his neatly buttoned shirt to the part in his oily hair. I don't know what the blasted colt is doing on the continent, but it's killing the land. No, killing's not the right word. To kill something, it has to live first. I've seen some of the seeds affected by the taint. They don't even split open. They just harden into these black pellets that don't do anything. It's as if something is stealing the life out of the earth before it even has a chance to grow. That's my I moved away from Nysa, which is in the grips of the blight. Right. Is that a music gear or a goblet? Goblet. Okay, so that might be all of Brookhaven. No, there's more. Nice. We talk to you. Brookhaven guard. Welcome to Brookhaven, seer. 
the inn. Hopefully someone's staying here. Mm. Nope. Bookshelf. You know, the Book of Crystal Lucky might be... I, don't, I can't read what part it is, so... Part 1. Oh, we already have Part 1. Um, Innkeep never really has anything to say. Four gold to rest for the night, sure. Please have a pleasant stay. Weaver, Cutter, and Last Resort. More weapons. Um... Okay, that might be all of Brookhaven. Looks like it. So, we're just passing through on our way to... F oh, wait. Assyria. Wasn't Assyria somewhere around here? E5. Okay, we're on I4. Alright, so, um... Continue heading over that way, but it's probably time to save and call it an episode. See how long we've been playing. I need to hit my water bottle. 42 minutes, so good place to cut it off. I will write down our Aleph locations off screen. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I uh, do appreciate each and every one of you. Next time, we will go ahead and head towards Assyria. See what she has to say. And then we'll also um, head toward the Junkie Rods. And get the coordinates of these new items and see if we can find them in the vicinity. So I hope you'll join me for that. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, much love, peace, and joy, guys. Catch you next time. Much more to come, so stay tuned. So long.